Tonight, the theater world is mourning the death of the king, Neil Brenner, who in more than 4,600 Broadway performances as the monarch in The King and I became synonymous with the role. Neil Brenner died today of lung cancer at a New York hospital. He was 65. In a salute to the king, New York theater owners dimmed the lights along Broadway in Schubert Alley at 8 o'clock tonight. Brenner first played the role in 1951 opposite Gertrude Lawrence and later won an Academy Award for the movie version opposite Deborah Kerr in 1956. He retired from The King and I for the last time on July 2nd. Yul Brenner smoked five packs of cigarettes a day. He felt his smoking habit brought on his fatal illness. In an interview with Betty Furness on Live at Five, Brenner said he wanted to leave a strong anti-smoking message as his legacy. What I'm doing is what, what I wish I had never done in my life. This is exactly what I should not have been doing. Mm -hmm. Nobody should. Despite his final illness, Yul Brenner faced death with dignity and astonishing strength. He earned his title of king, and he leaves a leg legacy of, uh, of that strength. Yul Brenner is dead at the age of 65.